What's up guys, Gene Bush um, back with another video. Um, I think this is going to be a really cool one. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this and it's going to help a lot of people out. Um, so as always, if it does help you out, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you're new here. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, you guys have no idea how much the support means. Um, but let's get right into it. So there is a glitch going around um, in Diamond Dynasty right now on how to make a lot of XP. Uh, if you recall, uh, less than a week ago now, um, I got back into MLB, and granted, it is double XP weekend and all that, but um, I already have finished. I have finished the fourth inning program, uh, and not just to the to the boss, but all the way through. Um, I made all the XP I needed. It maybe took me two days of grinding, and that was without even really doing this glitch for the most part. Um, and again, of course, I recognize it's double XP, but um, you know, I had all these objectives and stuff. But the glitch probably netted me. Maybe 200,000 XP. So most of it came from just playing. Um, but let's let's talk about this glitch, um, why it's important, and how you can use it. So besides the obvious of why it's important is of, of it saving you time getting the fourth or the fifth inning program done when it drops. Excuse me. Um, is if you finish these programs immediately, right? Um, within the day of them dropping, you can sell the bosses for a ton. So if you if you look at let's say. You know, Christy Matthews in here. It doesn't matter which card it is. They all are going to be like this. And you go to the marketplace, you'll notice when he first came out, he was about 400k almost. Um, he was sell now, uh, or excuse me, buy now price of 375 roughly on July 3rd. Now, he's under 100k as you can see. So, you know, he's a third of the price, more or less, of what he was. Uh, maybe even a fourth of the price. So if you had earned him day one, sold him for almost 400k, and then you bought him back, I mean, he's been the same price since uh, July 14th. So a little over, two, a little under two weeks um, after he dropped. So if you grinded him out, earned day one, you could have sold him for 400k, waited two weeks, bought him back, bang, made 300k profit. The same could be said with Wander Franco, although he was a little more expensive when he dropped, I think, because I think he was like the card most people wanted. Um, you know, but, and again, of course, the same thing with Eddie, uh, Eddie Murray. So doing this glitch can allow you to finish the first, uh, the fifth inning program immediately. And by finishing it immediately, you can sell these rewards for a ton of stubs. Um, if they have kitchen sink packs, maybe they have, I, I don't think they will, but if they have all-star game or home run derby packs at the end, if you get those done, you know, immediately, uh, you can, you can sell them before everyone gets access to them and the card prices drop. So, there's a ton of stubs that you can make. The same can be said with these classic packs. Actually, Tommy Edmond here, if you look at his price, he was on July 3rd, he was 30k, and now he's under 10 or he's about 10. So, finishing the fifth inning program immediately can make you a ton of stubs in the long run. A ton of stubs to be made. So, so how do we do it? So, the only requirement is you're going to need a second controller. Um, but that's it. So, you're going to head down to the main menu of, of MLB, um, and you're going to head up to the settings here in the top right. You're going to go to settings again, uh, and you're going to go to gameplay, and you just want to make sure you're hitting and your your pitching difficulty is set to legend. That is that is like the easy or the the most important part, excuse me, of this of this thing is making sure you set the legend because that's going to make you a lot more XP. Um, so you're going to head down to exhibition uh, in the play now section. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your main controller, the controller logged into your account. Now, if you, it, with your second controller, you either can log in as a guest, you can log in as another account if you have another one. I just do the guest. I think it's easier, but that's just me, my personal opinion. But you're going to take the controller that is logged into your account, your main controller, your player one, and you're going to put it as the away team. Um, it's going to default to whatever your favorite team is set to. It doesn't matter what teams you use. That's that's important to know. It doesn't matter. So you're going to take your main controller, set it to the away team. That is also important. You're going to take your secondary controller, and you're going to set it to the home team. Then once you've done that, again, the teams don't matter. You're just going to click through all this. You don't care where you play. You don't care who's playing. So you just you just skip through all this. So, okay, great. If all these facing Walker Bueller, it, it doesn't matter. The game's going to load up here. Um, and you're going to take your second controller, the one that's controlling the pitcher. Um, so the one that, sh in theory, it should be the one set to the... Um, the second account, so, or the the guest account, whatever. So you're gonna take the pitching, and you're just gonna intentionally walk, um, and you're gonna just do that, and you're gonna just compete, com 
you're just going to consistently do this over and over and over again. And there's a little bit of a cutscene, um, as you can see, where the manager signals the intentional walk. It does take a second. It's no big deal. Um, so you're just going to keep intentionally walking. Now, you can do this for as long as you want. Every time a run scores, you're going to make XP. It's not like it's a 1,000 XP per run. It's not like you're going to finish the fifth inning program in 20 minutes. But you're going to finish it really quickly. And you don't really have to do much. Um, I did it for, again, granted it was double XP weekend. I did it for about 20 minutes or so. Maybe a half hour. Made. I scored 200 runs. Um, and with the 200 runs scored, I made almost, i say a little shy of 30,000. Maybe 28,000, give or take. So if you figure 28,000... It's double XP, so about 14,000 XP for 200 runs, which is not bad. Now what you're going to do is, whenever you decide to stop, check your progress. I would do this because I think it's just safer, just to make sure. You're going to take your, your hitting account, um, your main account, the one that you, you play on, and you're going to pause the game, and you're just going to go to exit, and you're just going to confirm that exit. You probably could do it with either controller, but I just do it with the one I use just for safekeeping, I guess. Um, so we scored, what, like four or five runs? And we made 800 XP. So I think it's about 800 XP per walk, uh, give, or, give or take. Um, so if you walk, you know, 10 batters, it's 1,000 XP. If you walk 100 batters, it's 10,000 XP. Something along that number. Um, but it goes, it's just, it goes to your account. That's XP that you made. So if you do this, let's say Friday afternoon when the, the fifth inning drops, fifth inning program drops, you got nothing to do, so you do that for a couple hours. I know it's really boring. You can make, you could probably finish the program before anyone else or as, as early as everyone else. Um, now, the other thing I will say too is this. I know it's mindless. I know it's boring. Um, so throw on Netflix, you know. Um, I personally, I just finished watching the Marvel series, the, the Loki series. I kind of wish I saved it knowing what I do now about... Um, this glitch and using it for XP, but I believe if, you know, maybe you're a fan of this as well, but on Friday, I think the second season of Outer Banks is dropping, so I'm going to watch uh, season two of Outer Banks, uh, and while I'm doing it, I'll just continuously, intentionally walk people. Um, it doesn't take any skill, really. It doesn't take any effort, um, and you make a ton of XP. I know it's mindless, again, um, and it's not perfect. It's not like you're making 10,000 XP per minute or something, but realistically, um, when I was playing the other day, I was doing Conquest games, working on one of the Conquest maps, and in a three-inning game, I made about 1,500 XP. And a three-inning game probably takes, what, like 15 minutes, give or take? So it was about 500 XP every five minutes, so 100 XP a minute, right? And I just made 800 XP in about a minute as well, once the game loaded up. So it is a lot more efficient than playing. Of course, maybe do Showdown, maybe do the Conquest boards, there are other things that are probably more fun and entertaining and give you XP. But this way is probably the fastest start to finish method. So from the start of the fifth inning program to the end, it's probably the, the quickest way you can get there. Um, so I highly, highly, highly suggest it. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's going to be the glitch. Uh, as always, if this, like I mentioned in the beginning, if this video helped you, I would really appreciate a like. Um, I will comment down below if I notice the glitch gets um, removed from the game at any point. So just check the comment section. I'll pin it if it's removed. Um, so as of this moment, it is, you're all good. It's all good to go. Um, as of uploading this, the glitch is still good and working. Um, so if I helped you out, I would really appreciate a sub. Uh, comment down below, you know. Uh, actually, I'm curious. Comment down below who you're hoping for for a fifth inning boss. Um, me personally, I really would love to see an MVP Mookie Betts. Um, either that or some sort of maybe like Cy Young Award Pedro Martinez. Of course, that's as a Red Sox fan. Um, but yeah, uh, I will um, leave you guys to it. Good luck on the grind on Friday, and I will be back with another video soon. And uh, until then, I'll uh, see you guys later. Peace.